Hello, my friends. My name is Ryan Freeman. Welcome to Poetry in the Park. I just did one by William Walsh, a poem, Love and Jealousy, but this one is False Though She Be to Me and Love by William Congreve, born 1670, died 1729. I read that uh, he studied for law, but ultimately his love for literature and drama and poetry won out. And I always like people who start off on a practical route and then just discover that there's something a little more important than practicality. Their love and their passion is what actually gives them the juice of life. Um, and so he was very influential, uh, and that's all I can really say. Look him up if you're interested. This is a very short poem, two small stanzas. False though she be to me and love. Here we go. False though she be to me and love, I'll ne'er pursue revenge. For still the charmer I approve, though I deplore her change. In hours of bliss we oft have met, they could not always last, and though the present I regret, I'm grateful for the past. So talk about it line by line. False though she be to me in love. Have you ever had a lover who was false to you? Who was false to your love? They betrayed you. You were in love. You thought they were in love with you, but then they were false. They no longer we're loyal to you or your love. How do you feel about it? Some people, I, I had a friend, I had a friend, uh, his wife had a boyfriend that was false to her and she poured gasoline on his car and burned it down. She was a wild, crazy Chinese woman and she had a lot of fire. But uh, William Congreve says, False though she be to me in love, I'll ne'er pursue revenge. So he's not going to go try to take revenge, even though she played him false, even though she betrayed his love, broke his heart. For still the charmer I approve, though I deplore her change. So this is what I really actually do like about this poem, and I do quite agree with this, and I'll, and I'll talk about it more when we finish it. But this line is very interesting, these, these last two lines of the first stanza. For still the charmer I approve, though I deplore her change. See, he's, he's ambivalent. He's not... Sometimes when someone betrays us, we only concentrate on the negative aspect. We only concentrate on, on the part that someone disappointed us in. But we forget all the good things about that person. We forget all of the happiness that they brought us. So he says, for still the charmer I approve. Yes, though I deplore her change. I deplore her change. I deplore that she was false to me in love. But I still approve the charm that she brought to my life. The charmer I approve, though I deplore her change. So you're looking at something objective. You're not just going, I love you, I love you. No, I hate you, right? And then when you're finished with the relationship, you still, you go, yeah, she was great. Even though she turned out to be sort of a bitch. <laughs> no, he didn't say that. Anyways, uh, in the second stanza, in hours of bliss we oft have met, they could not always last. And though the present I regret, I'm grateful for the past. So he's talking about the good times and also the sad part, right? In hours of bliss, we oft have met. You know what bliss is. That's why we like love. That's why we like spending sweet moments with anyone or anything that we're truly in love with. You have a feeling of bliss. The Hindus, the ancient Hindu scriptures, had three ways of sort of unifying, I believe, with the universe or Godhead Sat Chit Ananda and uh, Ananda has been translated as bliss. Love, right? God is love. Bliss is a beautiful feeling. So to, to have those hours of bliss is a treasure and he hasn't forgot it, even though they could not always last, right? I think that's one of the reasons a lot of people do drugs is we try to get those moments of bliss more and more and more and more. Um, or we go for love as soon as one love flame dies. We love this feeling of bliss. We're addicted to it. Um, but he keeps it in perspective. He says he treasures those hours of bliss that he met with her and had. 
even though they couldn't last. And though the present I regret, right? He, he sort of, he's not happy about the present, right? He's obviously upset that she, his lover, was false to him and his love. And though the present I regret, I'm not happy about now. I'm grateful for the past. So even though I'm not happy now, even though I don't have bliss right now because you were false to me, I'm not throwing out the past. The past was beautiful. And I'm happy and grateful for it. So the re that was William Congreve, false though she'd be to me in love. And the reason I really like that poem is I have had various love affairs in, uh, you know, now I'm married and I want it to last <laughs> forever. I have a family. Um, but you know, love doesn't always last. Love does, like blissful moments, fade out and, you know, and we do have breakups and people are false to us and we have our hearts the damage that we suffer all that pain and we want to burn their car down like my crazy friend's Chinese wife um, not to say that Chinese are crazy I mean there's a lot of very uh, there's a lot of Chinese who won't burn your car down <laughs> but she was and we want to do that because they hurt us and so we have all that pain and they played us false and they've Ruined our love. They betrayed us. But don't forget all those blissful moments. You know, it's like life. Life is so sweet. But you know what's going to end. Life is sweet, but life can also be a little hard. The weather can be warm, but it can also be cold. And you don't say, I hate weather because it's sometimes cold. No. You still are thankful for those sunny days. So I think the same with relationships. And one thing that has always puzzled me is that the majority, not the majority, uh, a good portion of a lot of my past loves, um, some of them, not all of them, but some of them, just, I mean, they were in love with me, wrote in their diary that we would be together forever, and it just didn't work out for one reason or another, and then they hated me. And, uh, you know, hell hath no fur fury like a woman scorned. Um... And I, I have had a lot of women where we were had such blissful moments. Um, and then, you know, when those love and bliss petered out for one reason or another, they hated me. Couldn't be friends. And I have, to be fair, two women. I've had women in my past where we had blissful moments, but for whatever reason, it ended. And we're still friends to the gay. Today. Not gay. Still friends today. And I still treasure all of my past loves. In fact, I thank God, thank this universe for every sunny day I've ever had in my life. Even though I've had a lot of pain in life, I'm happy for all the happiness and love. And I wouldn't change a thing, amor fati. So anyways, that's my two cents. Tell me what you think in the comments and I will see you soon. My name's Ryan Freeman. Bye. Sorry. <laughs>